So I'm just curious if you maybe repurposed any Superman footage for Justice League. Mm. Hey everybody, it's Hannah Salik, the head of video here at Cinema Blend, with Sean O'Connell, our managing editor and author of the release, The Snyder Cut Book, and we got the chance to talk to Zach and Deborah Snyder. <laughs> we did. Um, this was a junket invitation that Cinema Blend got invited to to help promote uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League, and Hannah and I jumped at the opportunity to get a chance to speak to these guys. Obviously, their time is incredibly tight, uh, so we're super thankful to HBO Max for giving us some time with them. We wanted to talk about some non-spoilery type things. I think we kept it to the things that are in the trailer uh, and just some bigger picture type questions that we wanted to get into. We worked in a couple of things that you guys asked about as well too. So let's throw it right now to our junket interview uh, with both Zach and Debbie Snyder on behalf of Zack Snyder's Justice League. We live in a society where honor is a distant memory. All right, I'm going to kick us off. So Sean and I have a weekly show where we've been discussing all things Snyder Cut, and a lot of people are super excited about the additional photography. So I have to ask, who wrote the dialogue for that? Because I think the internet needs to know who to thank for the uh, Joker's We Live in a Society line. I wrote the dialogue for it, um, uh, for the scene, for that scene. Um, uh, but, uh, you know, it was, uh, I had uh, sent it over to Chris you know, when I was getting ready to just see if he had any tweaks and he seemed, he thought it was pretty cool. So, yeah. Isn't that right? Batman. Zach, I'm curious, uh, over the three years when, you know, everybody was discussing the rumored cut, uh, how many times do you estimate that you busted it out and screened it for friends and family in that theater room that you have? Oh, uh, maybe, maybe less than a dozen times, probably. Not not that much, you know, it was, um, you know, frankly, I was, it was, it was a thing that, you know, first of all, it was long and, um, you know, my tight group, the, the group that I'm with most of the time, they're, they kind of know the story and they're kind of knee deep in it. So the last thing they wanted was to, uh, you know, it's like that. You're like I'm. I'm like that crazy guy that's like, come look at my movie. It's awesome, you know. Like, so there. So I think in, in that sense, you know, it was uh, it was like a handful of times. But you know, it was really interesting, you know, to to do it because you know they people would always be like, holy jeez, like this is crazy. Like what is this? It's my legacy. Hey, Sean and hi Hannah. How are you? Wonderful. Thank you. So happy to get some time with you. Um, I have to start here. Watching the film, uh, I noticed the AFSP uh, Easter egg that you included in the billboard with the message uh, telling people you are not alone. And I was hoping you could just talk to us about the decision to include that uh, and how you guys decided where to put it. Well, it, you know, I think this journey for us, I think towards Zack Snyder's Justice League really, you know, started with the fans and them taking on a cause that obviously, you know, is near and dear to us. Um, but I also think like today, you know, with the year we've had with so many people losing their jobs or losing loved ones, mental health is so important. So we wanted to continue the work to support AFSP. And um, a lot of the things we're doing um, at the release of the film are also, you know, fundraising, you know, for money for them, but also I think to generate awareness because I think mental health so many times there's still such a stigma, uh, you know, against it. And people are afraid to talk about it. They're embarrassed to talk about it. And when we made the decision to come forward about, you know, our tragic loss of, of Autumn, um, we, we did so, you know, very thoughtfully, but also feeling like maybe out of such a, a horrible thing, we can at least, you know, tell our story and tell people that there are help, that there's help out there and kind of, you know, spread that word that it's okay to talk about it and there is support out there. So, you know, I think it's been amazing to see this fan community embrace this cause. And even when they were trying to get the movie made all along, they were still raising money and raising awareness for AFSP. So there was this billboard and we had something else on it. And Zach was like, I think this would be a great place to 
kind of incorporate it in the movie. I'm not broken. And I'm not alone. There's a shot of Superman in Justice League, and I won't say where, but it looks very similar to me to a shot that we see in Man of Steel. So I was just curious if you maybe repurposed any Superman footage for Justice League? Hmm, I wonder. Yeah. That's it? <laughs> I mean, listen, we're in the pandemic, so, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was a very, uh, get doing the, finding the shots and performance was challenging, so, but we were able to figure it out. You have been to the art of deception as Mozart to the harpsichord. I want to switch gears a little bit. I think a lot of female forward films, especially in this genre, struggle to convey a feminist message without being a little bit cheesy or too on the nose. And in Justice League, there's a moment with Wonder Woman that I thought could have fallen into that trap, but it didn't. So I was just curious if that was something that you guys were conscious of. Well, I think there's two moments uh, for me with Wonder Woman. You know, Wonder Woman, it's, it's always been important to have this balance of femininity, but also of strength. And we have to look like the root of her character, you know, was born with, you know, in feminism. So um, I think striking that balance was was really important. But I love the fact when the little girl, um, after she saves all the kids and she says, can I be like you one day? And she says, you can be anything you want to be. Because I think we're all Wonder Woman, right? That's that's the message there. And then I do love when in the tunnel battle, when Steppenwolf says, this one is mine. And she goes, I belong to no one. <laughs> and I just, I, I just think that is such a powerful uh, moment, you know? So, and, and, and that's what I love about her in this version of the film. We really get to see her as a warrior, but we also get to see too the struggle with her of her missing her family, um, you know, because I think that's the thing, like as a woman and seeing women in comics and in action, I want them to be dimensional. You know, you don't have to be just one thing. You know, you can be vulnerable and sensitive, and you can also be tough and strong at the same time. Show him your fear! We have no fear! Obviously, you know, over the course of this whole thing, you encourage the release of Snyder Cut family uh, sure. to keep fighting for this version of it. Now that there is a uh, Restore the Snyderverse campaign, I'm wondering if you have a message for those folks. Listen, you know, I said, uh, I really look, I really appreciate the support. It's unbelievable, and I couldn't. You know, I think it's just a testament in a lot of ways to the way we we approach these characters and the way I feel about them. And I think the way I feel about them is similar to the way a lot of the fans feel about them in the sense that, you know, they really, they take this seriously and they believe in this mythology and they, you know, they, they want, you know, to know, they want to go on that journey. And so, you know, all I can say is that um, we didn't think we'd be here uh, making this movie. Um, releasing it, that's for sure I didn't. Um, so, you know, I just, uh, I'm happy to talk with the fans anytime they want about, um, you know, about the universe and uh, yeah. The time is now. Again, we just want to thank HBO Max for giving us that time with both Zach and Deborah Snyder. We have a ton of more Snyder Cut coverage planned. Uh, Zach, Debbie, if you guys enjoyed yourself, come back around. We would love more time with you, obviously. Uh, we had a fantastic time breaking down this film with you. Snyder Cut fans, thank you for following us on this journey. Enjoy the movie, and we will see you guys afterwards when we can dive into sports.